Hey guys, Bo Brooks here with Power Calls, and today I'm going to show you how to properly use your Coyote Howler mouth call. First off, we're going to start by putting the call in your mouth. There's a ridge on the bottom of the call that always faces your tongue, and we're going to set it in there like so, making a tight seal on the roof of your mouth. The Coyote Howler is actually not that hard to use once you figure it out. It is just a short burst of air for your barking, which, let me show you what it sounds like. And usually when I'm locating turkeys, I don't bark very much. I just do one or two barks in the beginning to let them, to, to start the howl off. But that's just a short burst of air your barks are. You're going, and you're pretty much, like, and then you're pretty much like you're barking. You just shape your mouth like you would be barking with your voice. Um, and then we're going to go into a howl. The howl is just shaping your mouth with the call on the roof of your mouth, right? Like you're, like you're howling. And then it's just a, it's just laying your tongue flat on the call and letting it vibrate. So here's, this is what it would sound like. Ready? What I'm doing is I'm just pushing hard air and I'm just letting it, I'm not moving my tongue at all. I'm just letting my air run out is really what I'm doing. So uh, after you learn to bark and howl, I like to put them together. So this is what it would sound like together. <coughs> and if you really want to get tricky with it, there's another howl that you hear quite often in the woods and you're going <laughs> I'm just starting and stopping air, not completely stopping though, just shutting it off a little bit to create just a rattly sound. These howls are very effective at locating birds in the woods and honestly you might get a few coyotes light, lit up yourself. So <laughs> have a great spring and go kill some turkeys.